Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody who's new to the channel and everybody who's been here. I appreciate it. We really have a interesting sneaker in front of us. It's just a plain Nike Air Force One box, black with that kind of silver metallic reflective writing. You got the Air Force One. This is a quick strike. That's what the QS stands for. And it is a natural underbrush acorn. Men's size 12. Retail was $130 US. And this particular pair of Air Force Ones released on June 29th, 2021 for 130 and this is what we are looking at today so if you guys are not familiar with this i will throw up a photo real quick of what we are looking at this is the acorn air force one there was an original release of this shoe that came out in i believe january of 2002 which is interesting because if you think about the manufacturing date on those it would be around probably august to october of 2001 and now we're in 2021 so it seems like it could be a 20 year anniversary of the shoe coming up i don't know why it doesn't say that i don't know if that was supposed to be part of it but it's interesting to see and this could be considered i guess a retro because once again the o2 was a long time ago and if you look at the photo they tried to bring everything back in kind of the og form the one thing i will say about the og compared to this is i believe the cut coming down here along the ankle where this kind of curvature is i believe is a little bit more depth to it in terms of the curve let's get into these and we'll talk about the quality on this pair so overall you have this nice kind of tannish brown saddle brown kind of leather going across the upper with a mix of other materials and the leather quality on these is not bad it's not i'd say mm, i want to say six but let's give it a seven let's say these are a seven out of ten and then the leather on the lining we'll get to as well is actually pretty nice so looking at your midsole, let's get this out of the way. You've got a white painted midsole, white stitching going across. The air is white on the back, and you have like a deep chocolate brown outsole with that Nike stamp right there, normal Air Force One. And your upper, like I said, has this kind of saddle brown leather upper. You've got that same leather going across the swoosh. And this is your other material, which is kind of like a tweed um, knit. It's, it's pretty rough, but it feels nice. It looks nice. Overall, I love the look of this shoe. I think this is something you can wear every day. And at the same time, I think it's something you can dress up. I don't know if it, that's just me, but I feel like if you wore, you know, a nice pair of, you know, this color khaki, like that British color khaki and, you know, a nice button down shirt, these could be dressed up to a decent restaurant. Looking at your toe box, you have that same material on the mid panel right there on the toe. This is no perforation, so these might be a little warm for the summertime. There is your swoosh right there. That's supposed to be that same creamish color as the um, this kind of rough tweed material. It's kind of hard to say what this is. If I do actually find the name of this material, I will throw it up in text so you guys can see and actually know what I'm talking about. There is the chocolate laces, the only pair of laces you get with these, and they just have a clear tip, so nothing special. That same material on the toe box and mid paneling goes up the entire tongue until you get to the tag, which is kind of that saddle brown and white Nike Air. You have a chocolate lined right here, which matches the lining and the laces that goes around the tongue. Now, getting to underneath the tongue, you have the white lining, which is actually finished off on the tongue and there's a brown leather that goes all the way through and the leather quality in here is pretty nice i like the way it feels it's soft it's smooth it's a little stiff but i feel as these age and these break in they're going to be pretty good and a quick look at your insole has kind of like a like a rustic antique look i don't know it's a pretty cool insole once again it's like a darker brown and you have like kind of a creamish white nike air on there and overall that is really about it shoes are both the same no extra laces but since these aren't doing too bad right now i don't know if they're sold out everywhere once again i will try to hunt for you guys to see any stores that may have these in stock whether they be a u.s store or something like bstn or one of the international stores that i've shopped for myself that i know pretty well like atomos so other than that i will try to leave links down in the description to where you guys can find these resale prices i did check before i made the video aren't going too bad so if you are interested in buying a pair I would say buy them soon. Add them to your Air Force collection. I really like these. I'm going to keep them. I don't think I'm going to get rid of these. They're probably going to stay in the collection and go 
write down the whole row of Air Forces that I have. And um, one day we will shoot an Air Force collection video, and that would be kind of fun to do. But until then, I thank you guys for stopping by. We're going to leave it there. Try to leave some comments down below. I'll try to get some conversation going with everybody and try to answer back. I appreciate all the support. I hope you guys stick around because I have some more content coming shortly. And I hope everybody has a great day. All right.